In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Welcome. It's Monday before Christmas, two more days. We're celebrating this time of Advent during the Sabunga B Masses. And you're invited to send all of your petitions, your intentions into the sisters so that they can compile them and, and bring them to the tomb of Father Al. The theme of today is really about forgiveness and understand the forgiveness of God, the mercy of God. Let's first call to mind our sins. Ask the Lord for his forgiveness and his mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, as we see how the nativity of your Son, according to the flesh, draws near, we pray that to us, your unworthy servants, mercy may flow from your word, who chose to become flesh of the Virgin Mary and establish among us his dwelling, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before you, and suddenly they will come to the temple, the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the days of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver. And he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. Lo, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day, to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with doom. The word of the Lord. A response, lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand. Response, Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in the truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. Response. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Response. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy, toward those who keep his covenant and decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Response. Alleluia, alleluia. O King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save man whom you have formed from the dust. Alleluia, alleluia. May the words of the Lord be in my heart and my lips, worthily and joyfully proclaim this most holy gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the holy gospel according to Luke. When the time arrived for Jesus to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they, re they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zachariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There's no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name, and all were amazed. 
Immediately his mouth was open, his tongue freed, and he spoke, blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all the matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. When all who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. I often think of forgiveness as something that is merely just an act that I bestow on another person. But when we really talk about today in the concept of forgiveness with regard to today's Mass, I want you to recognize God the Father's forgiveness towards humanity. How he sent his son, this sacrificial offering, who John the Baptist will later call, Behold the Lamb of God. But he sends this son as expiation, as a sacrifice pleasing, to reconcile the hearts of mankind back to God. To reconcile us so that we can recognize that forgiveness is, comes at a cost. That forgiveness is not just simply granted, but it's earned through suffering and pain and trial and struggle, actually. So today, as I celebrate the Mass, I would like you to think about, is there someone in your life that you don't forgive, that you want to send an email to the sisters and say, Sister, please help me forgive this person or this person, so that the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, can really work in your life. And you can experience during these Subangami Masses really great healing. The theme again today is forgiveness. May the Lord give you the grace to recognize that this child is really coming to help us receive mercy. And through mercy, we are to forgive others. May the Lord give you the grace today and thank God that His mercy endures forever. Now, turning with great confidence to God our Father, we now place these petitions before Him for the church and all who serve in the church. O oh Lord, that we may be True witnesses of your grace and mercy, we pray to the Lord. For those who are suffering in body, mind, or spirit, those with addiction, depression, and chronic illness, we pray to the Lord. We ask you, Lord, that those that are away from their families, seafarers and others during this Tsumunga Bee Masses, those who are serving in other countries, may never forget their Catholic roots in following Christ, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are suffering through human trafficking, slavery, and violence, that they will reach out for, for, for help and that others will help them find healing and grace, consolation, we pray to the Lord. And for the canonization of Father Al, and for more vocations to the Sisters of Mary and Brothers of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Good and gracious Father, hear these prayers and those that are in our hearts. We ask them through your Son, Jesus, and through Mary's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands are made. O become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbles himself to share in our own humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands who become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation by which divine mercy worship in its fullness has been inaugurated for us 
be our perfect reconciliation with you, O Lord, that we may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in praise. So with the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Will, the bishop of this diocese, and all the clergy. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, especially any members of your family. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, Zachar Saint Zacharias, Saint Elizabeth, Saint John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant your peace, O Lord, to those you have nourished with these heavenly gifts, that we may be ready with lighted lamps to meet your dearly beloved Son at his coming, who lives and reigns forever and ever. So tomorrow morning I'll have the last Sabangabi Mass. It'll be the December 24th Mass. And then I'll have another Mass for Christmas Day. And tomorrow I'll be wearing the purple vestment. And then the next day I'll be wearing the white vestment to celebrate the birth of Christ. There'll be a significant difference though, not just the vestment, but also the manger is lacking something. It's lacking the baby Jesus. So on Christmas morning, the readings I will select will be all about the birth of Christ. I pray that you send him some petitions to the sisters today. Really, maybe somebody you want to forgive. And let's place those before the altar. Throughout this day, I will lift them up in my own personal prayer. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Almighty, ever-living God, giver of all good gifts, you have filled Venerable Al with an ardent love for you and for souls. You have inspired him to dedicate his life to relieve the suffering of the orphans, the abandoned, the sick, and the poor which he did with all humility and courage until the end of his life. May his holy life of love and service to the poor be recognized by the church through his beatification and canonization. For your honor and glory, we pray that the life of Venerable Al be an inspiration for us in striving for perfection in the love of God and service to others. Bestow on us through his intercession. We ask this through the maternal, through Jesus Christ, your Son, 
and through the maternal aid of Mary, the Virgin of the poor. Amen. God bless you folks. Have a great day.